According to weather forecasters, Eta will become a Central American hurricane threat early this week. It will bring life-threatening flooding and landslides. Eta is expected to hit Central America as a hurricane early this week. There will be life-threatening flooding, strong winds and storm surges across the region. There exists a lot of uncertainty about what will happen when Eta impacts Central America. Eta is currently tracking through the Caribbean Sea and will threaten Central America as a hurricane early this week, with life-threatening flooding, heavy rainfall, damaging winds and strong storm surges. Eta is forecast to approach Central America as a hurricane by Monday and early Tuesday. It will hit Honduras and Nicaragua. Hurricane and or tropical storm conditions are therefore expected in parts of southern Honduras and or northern Nicaragua by late Monday or early Tuesday. Forecasters are also expecting that there will be a dangerous storm surge close and just north of where Eta crosses the coast. Parts of northern Nicaragua may see an inundation of 10 to 15 feet above normal tide levels. As it stands, the meteorologists are stating that it poses a serious threat of flash flooding and river flooding in Central America. Landslides may also occur in areas with mountainous terrain. They are also expecting that rainfall will total up to 15 to 25 inches in localized areas and it may get up to 35 inches in some places. Rainfall totals of 15 to 25 inches are likely in parts of northern Nicaragua and much of Honduras through to Friday. Portions of Belize and the eastern regions of Guatemala may see rainfall totals of 10 to 20 inches and in localized areas it may also get up to 25 inches. Panama and Costa Rica are forecast to receive 10 to 15 inches of rainfall and in localized regions it may get up to 20 inches. Parts of Jamaica, the Cayman Islands and the southern regions of Haiti may also see heavy rainfall and flooding from Hurricane Eta. When Eta moves inland over the Central American region, the forecast becomes increasingly uncertain. One possible forecast scenario is that Eta will simply dissipate over Central America or move into the Eastern Pacific Ocean. However, based on some forecast models, Eta's spin and energy will linger over Central America for a long time and then move back over the Western Caribbean. That may lead to a reorganization of the system over the northwest regions of the Caribbean Sea later in the week ahead of next weekend. Whether it chooses to reorganize or if this happens, it is too early to ascertain such. Tropical development is not unusual in November in the western regions of the Caribbean. Forecasters are expecting that Hurricane Eta will rapidly intensify and bring catastrophic conditions to Central America. It is expected to rapidly intensify over the next 18 hours as it spins in the Caribbean Sea towards Nicaragua, bringing with it devastating conditions. Sustained winds from Hurricane Eta grew to 75 miles early on Monday morning. The storm is currently moving west towards Central America at 12 miles per hour. The forecast for Hurricane Eta is that it will make landfall in Nicaragua late Monday into Tuesday as a possible Category 2 hurricane, with winds around 100 miles per hour. Currently, there is a hurricane warning that is in effect from the border of Honduras and Nicaragua to Sandy Bay Serpe in Nicaragua. Heavy rains in Central America will cause catastrophic 
life-threatening flash flooding, as well as landslides, dangerous storm surges, and strong damaging winds. The center of ETA is expected to approach the northeastern coast of Nicaragua by Monday afternoon, and it is scheduled to make landfall early Tuesday before moving inland over northern Nicaragua through early Wednesday. ETA is forecast to be a major hurricane when it makes landfall by early Tuesday. The largest threat from this storm will be heavy rainfall with estimates of 15 to 25 inches, an isolated amount of 35 inches in Honduras and Nicaragua. Strong storm surges along the Nicaraguan coastline is expected to be up to 15 feet above normal tide with extremely strong winds that will impact areas from the coast towards the mountains. The wind and storm surge threat will decrease throughout the day on Tuesday, but the rain will last into the week. Heavy rainfall will spread throughout Central America, where areas from southeast Mexico down through Panama may see rain accumulations up to 25 inches. This rainfall may lead to catastrophic life-threatening flash flooding and river flooding along with landslides in areas of higher terrains in Central America. Flash flooding and river flooding may also be possible in Jamaica, in the southeast regions of Mexico, El Salvador, southern Haiti and the Cayman Islands. The current forecast has the storm meandering the mountains of Nicaragua and Honduras prior to heading north towards Belize as a depression by Friday. Track and intensity of the storm remains uncertain after Friday. However, forecasters and meteorologists will closely monitor the system. The storm has the potential to be one of the worst flooding events in Nicaragua since Hurricane Mitch in 1998 and it should be noted that Hurricane Mitch took approximately 10,000 persons. Hurricane warning has been issued for Nicaragua as it continues to strengthen the Caribbean. Forecasters are expecting that there will be dangerous storm surges, hurricane force winds, and torrential rain. All of these are expected as Monday continues. Well, if you are in Nicaragua, Honduras, Jamaica, Haiti, Panama, Mexico, Costa Rica, Belize, and the Cayman Islands, ensure that you are getting the necessary hurricane preparedness items in place. Also, look out for heavy rainfall, 15 to 25 inches. That may lead to river flooding and flash flooding across the region. Ensure that you are in a place that is safe. Also ensure that if your area is prone to landslides, that you evacuate early. Listen to your radio and any other device that will provide you with updates from your emergency agency. Remember to keep safe. Ensure that you have food and clean water. Also ensure that you have an evacuation plan for your family. Ensure that you have candles. Ensure that you secure your important documents in plastic containers. Store water for at least two to three days. And do not drink water until your water authority has given you the approval to do so. Be safe and continue to protect yourself and your family during this last month of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the rapid intensification of tropical storm Eta to a hurricane. And let me know what you think about the forecast that is expected over the region for this week. Be safe and goodbye.